Hello and welcome to the Sacred Gates Ascension podcast. My name is Elora and thank you so much for tuning in. Today's podcast episode is just a little video about how to rate your progress, how to reflect and feedback on your progress, especially when you are a beginner and you're putting in the time to get your skills and abilities and to understand the art that you're practicing. It's much better if you, especially if you're a beginner, to focus on your practice and the levels of progression in months and years rather than days or moments. Yeah, because often when we're just starting to begin something, we're quite impatient and we want results quickly. So you might have been training, just say in one of my other videos, we just did a video on building the your willpower and you might start off by doing that and, and not really feel it and you might be like well you know it's not really um, working for me yet uh, I haven't really felt any benefit from it and it's like well how long have you been practicing it for you know how long have you been practicing so we always want to remind ourselves that it takes time to build to become familiar and to build skill and ability so rather than just focusing on oh how am I progressing in three days oh how have I progressed in a week so instead focus on how you are progressing over the months and over the years and if you are an impatient person hungry for ability and hungry for sensation and experience and even if it may be image related to, I know this can happen and I've been there, it's difficult sometimes to, to take that time and go, oh my God, I've got to put months in. I'm only going to see progress really after a month. It's much better to have the long-term strategy, the long-term thinking. And I don't mean 10 years. I mean, people can practice and, and really maybe not have been practicing skillfully for years. This does happen especially if their teacher is keeping secrets from them you know this happens in many schools where they're not being taught properly or they don't have a teacher and they're just pulling bits and pieces and they have a lot of missing pieces and we all have missing pieces but if there and there are a lot of holes in the mainstream spiritual scene there's a lot of holes a lot of misinformation of which some of it I think is on purpose and some of it is just lack of translation or different translations over time. But it's better to have kind of like a long-term picture for yourself and settle in for the long journey. Like I said, it doesn't mean you never progress, but to see it more as months and years rather than days and weeks or moment to moment. There's that banging. So just remind yourself it takes time and to not waste your practice on impatience because impatience just doesn't deserve to be... To, to, to do what it'll do to your journey you know you want to have patience and take time and and layer it on like like a tissue paper tissue paper and that's where the real goods come from we're, we're being sold a whole lot of bs for these like magic bullets and instant mastery reiki courses online becoming a master it's such bs it really makes people in this fast food culture to seek gratification very quickly but the real goods come from a slow burning path and that is what a real art is about where you earn the next level yeah and this is when we look at months and years especially when we're a beginner all right adios bye bye